In this video series, we look at some of the biggest differences in Onshape compared to other 3D parametric design tools. This video focuses on creating assemblies and capturing the mechanical aspects of your designs, critical to the function of your products. As discussed in a previous video, Onshape uses multi-part part studios to create multiple components in a single design space. Because the parts in a part studio are designed relative to one another, assembling those components is streamlined. Simply start by inserting the components to include in your assembly. Each will automatically be added in their designed position. Then, simply create groups for the groups of components that should always remain positioned relative to one another regardless of any motion. Now, as components change in the part studio, their relative location will update in the assembly. It's that simple for the majority of components in your design. There's no need for additional mating. For additional components created in separate part studios, you will still want to mate those components into place. Most components can be added using snap mode when inserting to quickly locate those components by snapping them into position. As you drag the components into position, Onshape presents you with multiple locations to snap to. Once over the correct location, you can easily toggle the orientation and rotation of the component using hotkeys to quickly mate the component in place. The real performance gain here is that not only is adding the component fast, but only a single mate is needed to fully define the components in place. This is because Onshape uses a unique method of mating using mate connectors, intelligent locations to mate to found on all geometry. This drastically reduces the number of mates needed to fully define a component, in most cases to simply one mate. To manually create mates using mate connectors, simply hover over any face or edge and Onshape will present you with a variety of locations to choose from. Then choose the appropriately matching location on the component you want to mate to. The component moves into position relative to each selected mate connector, where you can then make any adjustments, such as alignment, rotation, and offsets in any direction. In the case of a fastened mate, this removes all remaining degrees of freedom with a single mate. In cases where you want more degrees of freedom to incorporate motion into your designs, you can use less restrictive mates, such as Revolute, which will lock the components in all degrees of freedom except for rotation, perfect for shafts and gears. This again only requires a single mate, not the traditional two in typical design applications. Furthermore, if you want to create a relationship between the motion of these mates, you can add a gear relation between them. Simply leverage the existing Revolute mates, add the appropriate gear ratio, and the appropriate motion between the components is established. Mates like cylindrical allow degrees of freedom rotationally as well as linear. Onshape focuses on the degrees of freedom defined by a single mate as opposed to each mate removing just one or two degrees of freedom. You can, however, if you want or need, add additional mates to define this motion more traditionally. For example, adding a parallel mate would limit the rotational degrees of freedom defined in the cylindrical mate. And like before, you can add a relationship, such as a screw relation, that controls how much linear motion is defined with each rotation of the cylindrical mate. Perfect for examples like a threaded nut or jack screw. There's also often the need to add standard components, such as hardware to your designs. Onshape makes this process quick and easy by allowing you to automatically add specified hardware to any holes on a selected face. However, sometimes you may need to add additional hardware where existing components already exist. Using options like insert closest to and further from allow you to rapidly add the new hardware and update the existing stack of hardware components, reducing the need to go back and make changes to the components you've already added. As you've seen, Onshape redefines simplicity in what is often one of the most complex aspects of design by reducing the amount of effort needed to realize your assembly designs.